this is Ruben from Crown Teams and in this video tutorial I want to explain a bit about how to update your Shopify theme because if you are new to the platform you might notice that updating a Shopify theme is not as easy as hitting a button so there are a few considerations if you have a theme that you didn't edit at all I'm talking about the actual theme files for example let's take this original done theme even if it's customized, as you can see, with my own section and settings, I haven't edited the actual theme code at all. So I've only done customizations using the theme customizer. Well, in cases like this, you will see a little notice here below the theme's name that tells you there is a new version available which you can download. If this is the case, you can simply choose to add the new version to the theme library and Shopify will automatically, as you can see, get your old settings and put them into the new theme. So now, after this process has ended, you can just double check to see if everything went well and you can publish the updated version. So as you can see, this is uh, the new version of Dawn. This is the latest version of Dawn, but it still has my own customization, right? The ones that I had in uh, version 4. So this is what happens when you don't edit a theme's code at all. When you just edit the sections, edit the templates, and uh, don't touch the theme files. Now, in case you have a lot of modifications because you there are times when you have a good reason to edit a theme like uh, maybe you have an app which are modifying the theme's code or you are adding some custom css or your own modifications in cases like this you will face uh, two issues first when you have an edited theme like this this is modified dom you will not see the notice available that a new version is available, right? So you don't see this notice at all. So how can you know if a theme that you're using has any updates? Well, from time to time, you can change, check the change logs either on the theme listing. Uh, here you can see that there are uh, listed changes or on our website. Or we do send a couple of newsletters from time to time to our customers just to let them know when we launch some cool updates. The second issue is that you will not be able to update the theme automatically. So what is to be done then? So in order to get your hands on the latest version of the theme, you need to go to the theme store and look for the themes page. If you are logged into the account from which you made a purchase, while browsing to themes, you will see the possibility to add the latest version of a theme, right? So instead the try now button, you will see this button, add latest theme version. If you hit this button, it will install a blank new version of the theme in your store. So here we have it, the new version. If we are previewing it, you will see that it looks empty just as the theme looks when you purchase it without any kind of content, with no modifications, as opposed to the old version, uh, which you can see that has um, uh, one modification, you, everything is uh, grayed out. Another modification uh, here, I mean my own content first, but also some modifications, like I have the vendor here and uh, some kind of content these are three modifications that i've done for this video uh, but the old one doesn't the new one sorry doesn't have anything so what's to be done first of all we need to copy the json files from the old version to the new one for this it's better to just download the themes so i'm downloading the theme files both of them and when I have the theme files, I just put them side by side and copy the content from one theme to another. So here I have it. On the left, I have the old theme. On the right, I have the new theme. So what I have to do 
is to just copy the templates from the old version to the new one. Now, in this case, I will skip the customer's templates because these aren't templates that can that can be modified or should or should or should be copied at least uh, in the version of uh, Liquid Files, which our Kingdom team has at the time of this video's recording. So, whoops! I no, I didn't do it well. Let me just undo. So, let's make sure that I copy all the templates in the proper place. Yes. Okay. So they are moved. Also, one more thing that I want to that I want to copy is the schema file. The schema con the schema contains the configuration of your uh, store like all the theme settings so this is from the config folder the settings data json file so just take this from the old theme and copy it into the new one so now i can just archive all of these files let me create, uh, let me compress them and call this King Updated with Content. So now what I have to do is upload this theme and install it. Now, if I want to preview it, I see that all, all of my old content is there, so it's not blank as the as the one that I, I got from uh, from Shopify anymore. It's with content, but it's still different than my old thing, right? Because this had some modification. Now, the second step is to take care of these modifications. For this purpose, I want to edit the code of both themes. And again, I will put both of these side by side. So on the left, I have my old theme. On the right, I have the new theme updated with JSON content. So I can close these folders. First of all, uh, in the assets folder, I know that I have some CSS modifications, but I don't see so this is why you need to make sure that you always record your modifications. Our new themes, local and combined, at the time of recording, have a place in the theme customizer to put all of your custom uh, CSS and even GS in it. And uh, during this year, we will upload, update all of our themes to do the same. Uh, but for now, if you've done some modifications, you probably, uh, hopefully, uh, have added them as new code at the end in this form. So if you've done some, something like this, you can just take the custom code from the old theme and uh, put it in the, in the new one. If you've modified the inner uh, CSS file, then it's really impossible to get the code back. So that's why you should never ever edit the CSS of a theme directly. Now for a liquid files, uh, I need to go through the folders and see which uh, files were modified. So I know that this file was modified. It's main product that liquid because I have this blue little dot. So let me open it here as well, main product, main product. So I will now look after the modification. Again, there isn't any way to know where the modification is. So you need to track, really track down well all of the mods you do. So I know that I've added uh, a tab like in the description block. So I'm just copying it from here searching for the description block at the bottom and trying to make the same here okay so i'm saving this 
I also know that I have some uh, editing in snippets. Now this is like a very simple example. What I'm doing here, your store might be very, very different. Uh, also, you might have new files that you need to copy, uh, app integration that you might have to redo, uh, case in which just take everything step by step and uh, update update your new theme with the old modifications so i found this it's the vendor display in product items putting it here okay so this is uh this is it if i go to preview the theme now the king updated with content i should see the mod right so the overlay is back the vendor is back and uh, my uh, my text is is back in its right place. Great. This should be it. One last note. This is a nice method which works well at least for minor versions. Minor versions are when you switch from let's say 3.00 to 3.05 or it could even work when you switch from 3.0 to 3.2 or something like that. But from time to time this isn't often, but we do this maybe a couple of years, let's say, once a couple of years. You might see a version jump from uh, 3 to 4. Uh, in such cases, the method described in this video might not work because you will get a lot of breaking changes. It could still work, so again, it depends on what changes we do from version to version. So there isn't any reason why you shouldn't try it. You please try it, uh, but be cautious uh, as when we release a major version that there could be some breaking changes and some things that might not port well from version to version. Also, like this is a note of advice uh, for any, any update, uh, regardless of the version that you're updating to. After you are done updating a theme, always double check everything. Make sure that you go through your store, through the products, the pages. Just be sure that all of your old settings are in place. Because even if you do have everything made the right way, you might still have to make some adjustments. But that's all. The information presented in this video should at least get you started on the right track for updating your team. And if it's still daunting you, just hire a professional that can assist you. Good luck.